I'm Kevin Cole from KEXP in Seattle, where you can hear a DJ curated stream of great music live 24 seven at KEXP.org. You can also check out hundreds and thousands of exclusive live performances on our YouTube channel. And I'm here at the Spot Festival in Aarhus, Denmark, to present some of my favorite new Danish bands like Limor. Thank you so much for having us. We are Rimo, and this is a song called Tre. next song we're going to play is called The Limal, which translates to It Doesn't Matter.
This is a song called Citatsang.
we're gonna play a song that's uh, the latest single from our new album. It's called Geoscope. Slimar, live on KEXP from the Spot Festival in Aarhus, Denmark. Thank you so much. Thank you. So dreamy us. and beautiful, I feel, after a long day, transported to a great space. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. It's, uh, it's great having for you here and super excited for KEXP listeners to hear your music. Can you tell me how the band came together? Yeah, well, it's been four years now since uh, Victor actually uh, pushed us all together. He had yeah. a concert thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I, I would like. Uh, I was very interested in starting writing Danish songs, and I found this great Danish poet called Michael Strunge, and he inspired me to make some songs with uh, Oliver, and then I found these two guys, and magic just happened i think yeah had, had you been uh, making music that wasn't in danish before that yeah uh, like i've been making english music also with him yeah and it was going very it was very tough writing songs in another language so i i, I needed to try something else and that was, was in my own mother tongue i think yeah yeah yeah, what was it about uh, Mikael Strong, uh, Danish uh, 80s kind of postmodern, post-punk poet 
who was inspired by the, some amazing uh, musicians like Joy Division and Bowie and Eno. What, what, what was it about his words that, that struck you? I, I, it just like spoke right into my soul, I think. It was like one of the first poets that I underst understood and like, he was he he made like uh, he made poet poetry or he uh, I don't know it just talked to me yeah in a way no other ever did so in terms of then how the songs get written um, what is that process like like uh, do you guys share lyrical responsibilities as well as musical we share all the responsibilities <laughs> I'd say um, but most of the time. It's uh, someone comes up with an idea. For instance, Oliver has like a guitar melody or Lasse has a groove or some chords or whatever. It can be anything. And then we just start working on it together until we create something that's a whole song, which is also why I think it's so great for all of us to work in this band because we can each put our own unique footprints on all the songs. Yeah, you all bring different influences, different ideas. Yeah. We actually normally stand like this in the rehearsal uh, room. Yeah, it's so writing nice. Writing like this. Yeah. But well, the we song can all... is being created in the middle. Normally. Right where you are. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's that's super cool. And, and it's, um, as you mentioned, everybody's involved in the, uh, in the creative process. And uh, that is where the magic happens for Limor. Yeah, yeah totally. So what is it um, that brings you together then? Like, um, what, and what is it that keeps you together as, as friends that then can make this great music? Uh, well, the fact that we are, first and foremost, all really good friends. We like to hang out. We enjoy each other's company. I think that's what, uh, what holds us together. And just that we enjoy the creative process yeah. at least for me it's a really nice space to be in when we're creating together but we mostly hang out actually yeah <laughs> i think we hang out more than we write music together that's super cool so <laughs> so you have to force yourself like hey we gotta work on so, music <laughs> although um this album was recorded during the the pandemic the quarantine yeah. so you took advantage of that time to use it creatively uh, the album translates as Happy Blind Children. Mm -hmm. what, um, what is that in Danish? Glade Blinde Børn. Yeah. It's actually from a, a, a poem by Michael Strunge called Plastic Zone that we also did a song over, uh, which is also on the album. Yeah, and it's, the plastic um, chair. Yeah. The plastic what? Chair. The plastic sun? Chair. Like you sit on a chair. No, no, it's a plastic sun. It means uh, the plastic sun. Okay. Yeah. Dang, Google Translate didn't work yeah, very well for probably me. Probably a <laughs> team must have snuck in somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but it's a. Uh, I you, think you it's. You can't rely on Google. No, you can't. You can't. That's what we can make of this. Yeah, but Glad Blinde Børn, Happy Blind Children. It's a sentence from, from that poem, which is about, I think, the climate change and the fact that we're all kind of trying to shut it out. Yeah, that's super interesting that something, uh, a, a lyric like that, or you would grab a line like that from an 80s poem that uh, would be so relevant now. Yeah, I think that's also uh, why yeah. Michael Strunge. I think so too. Like, yeah. It's very w weird reading something that's like 40 years old and it's so relevant and it, it could be like it could have been written yesterday. Yeah. So yeah. have we re really learned like nothing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but also part of why it speaks to us now. Yeah. The young generation. It's just like, like um, it all goes in circles. Like something happens, we learn from it and then yeah. we, we evolve and then we go back to the same point. Yeah. Yeah. We keep evolving and uh, I think we learn something and hopefully move forward while we are going yeah. backwards as well. So tell me about the interplay then between the music and and the lyrics and what's important there for you. I, I, I think that the lyrics really influence how we play 
uh, because because um, the words in in his state of mind it it, it really really speaks to to a certain way of of playing. It's very uh, the words are very aggressive sometimes, but it's also soft and and you you like you take that in and and it, it inspires you uh, to play in a certain way. So so we had a lot of fun in the beginning, like really um, ex- experimenting with these uh, vibes and emotions and, and translating that into the music that we play. Yeah, it's really interesting for me not knowing the language, but I feel it, you know, and as I mentioned, it's really transporting and, and beautiful. There's a beautiful melancholy to it, but you mentioned the sort of aggressiveness of some of the songs like Gyroscope. Mm. Uh, they get really intense at times, but they, there's just these waves that that build musically that uh, that I really appreciate. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But I think like we work a lot with like contrasts, and you like to play very free and like bringing it into dynamics. This, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, but normally when you play, play in like a pop rock band, it's all you make like a plan. Yeah. What each other should play and stuff, but we like to have like the free vibe. Where you can always change a part or get like interpret the song while we play, so it's a new song every time. If that makes any sense. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, and being great friends and hanging out more than playing together probably gives you that intuitive sense to be able to uh, riff off each other as as things change, and maybe even knowing like how somebody's day was or week was or some significant yeah. event that maybe yeah. happened in your life might change how a song comes out that given day. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that's what's most important to me is that I can just show up being, feeling whatever I feel on that day, and then I'm allowed to be that person on that day, and I I feel like I'm being taken care of in this space. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So it's Limor live here on KEXP again from the Spot Festival in Aarhus, Denmark. And thank you so much. That was an absolutely beautiful performance. And I uh, can't wait to just see what happens next for you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you Kim. so much for having us. You bet. It's KEXP. It's wonderful. KEXP. KEXP. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Discover new music at kexp.org.